Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on IPsec VPN chapter number 6, Components and Modes of IPsec VPN. In the previous chapters, guys, we have taken enough time and we have uh, taken enough idea on what exactly IPsec VPN is, why we need IPsec VPN, uh, what is encryption, what is hashing, what is integrity, what is authentication, PSK, and all these terminologies we have studied and we have spent a good amount of time. Now, in this video, let's focus on these two topics, that is components of IPsec VPN and modes of IPsec VPN. Uh, when we were talking about uh, the uh, two nodes A and B, let me just draw this one. A and uh, this is the public network and node B. Okay. So when I'm talking about these two nodes, when A is going to send some private data to B over this public network, uh, an intruder or an attacker, you know, MIM, you know, we need to protect the data from this particular the hacker or the intruder or the attacker which is sitting in this public network. So, when I talk about the components of IPsec VPN, uh, there are three main components out of which the very first I'll explain that is IKE now. Uh, what IKE does is uh, it actually helps us to create and secure tunnel over this public network. Now, this tunnel is nothing but a channel, okay? a private channel which is created on this public network. That is what IK does. Uh, IK actually allows to exchange uh, encryption key and negotiate security associations. Uh, as its name is, you know, IKE, IKE, key exchange over internet, nothing but public network. So, IKE is key exchange, it actually helps us to uh, create a secure channel and also key exchange over this public network okay? and negotiate security associations. Uh, security associations are nothing but the parameters which are required to build, to create a secure channel over a public network. Now, this these parameters will be encryption, um, authentication, uh, hashing what the, the hashing algorithms what hashing algorithm needs to be uh, decided or negotiated upon to provide the integrity so this kind of all these parameters we have which we have studied in the last videos terminologies video so this parameter security associations are the parameters which are required to create a secure tunnel so this is ike uh, the second main protocol is esp encapsulating security payload guys it's not encryption security payload it is encapsulating security payload and the other one is AH uh, ESP and AH the work is same you, know, you can either use ESP or you can either use AH so the work is same uh, what they exactly do is because this is our gateway sort of things you know A and B we are taking these nodes and this is the user who is sitting on this LAN for example So, the user is going to have its data. Now, ESP and AH are those IPsec protocols which actually provides secure exchange of this user's data. So, for example, like ESP. ESP will provide, uh, as I mentioned here, integrity, encryption, authentication and anti-replay to this data. Whereas authentication header will provide integrity, authentication and anti-replay to this data. The difference between ESP and AH is that ESP provides encryption which AH do not provide. So that is the reason why ESP is more secure as compared to AH. And ESP uses port number 50 whereas AH use, num use port number 51. So guys, these are the three important components of IPsec VPN, IKE, ESP and AH. Let's move and discuss on modes of IPsec VPN. So there are two modes of IPsec VPNs in which IPsec VPN can be implemented. One is transport mode and the other one is the tunnel mode. Uh, let me draw the same diagram over here, A, 
this is the public network and this is P uh, let's say this is the LAN segment of A where a user or a host is there let's say this is host 1 and also let's say this is host 2 okay now we can say this A and B these are the VPN um, gateways okay or VPN peer we can say now when IPsec VPN is implemented between this two this will be that is the site to site tunnel this will be the tunnel mode when IPsec is implemented between site to site this is site to site and end to end IPsec VPN tunnel means between this host because the traffic is going to flow like this so if you are implementing it between the hosts and that is the transport mode so transport mode means end to end IPsec VPN tunnel and tunnel mode means site to site IPsec VPN tunnel I might have drawn this diagram like this so you might have got a better understanding like uh, a public network we'll just draw the small diagram over here just for the reference purpose and uh, this is host and this is the host or other host so when I am implementing tunnel between these two things this these two uh, gateways VPN gateways this will be tunnel mode and if I implement IPsec VPN between these two hosts that are the end hosts then this will be transport mode of implementation of our IPsec VPN so this is how it is so transport mode and tunnel mode let's go a bit deeper into this discussion of transport mode and tunnel mode let's discuss uh, tunnel mode tunnel mode is a default mode of IPsec VPN implementation so guys always remember it's a default mode and uh, it is used between gateways as we saw here it is used between A and B uh, in this uh, what actually actually happens is that the original IP packet uh, this is my original IP packet I tried to draw a diagram of just for representation so this is my original uh, frame which contains the IP header and the payload that is the data now in tunnel mode the original IP packet are encapsulated with H or uh, ESP I told you know either of them will be used and in addition to that an additional IP header is also added to it so in this always remember in tunnel mode your your IP packet original IP packet is encapsulated with H or ESP and additional IP header now this additional IP header when we say additional IP header means we are going to have a new IP header and uh, public IP is normally used for this if you if you if you have ever implemented you might have seen that public IP addresses used for this new header now what about the transport mode uh, when we talk about transport mode here there's a slight difference between uh, the tunnel mode in tunnel mode as we saw the original IP packet are encapsulated with AH or ESP and additional IP header here that and additional IP header is not there here only it is encapsulated with ESP or AH this is what I have shown in this diagram that this is the original IP header and only data is encapsulated this is another difference that only data that is payload is encapsulated the IP address there is no extra IP header which is added in the transport mode the IP headers are the original IPs only IP headers are not added as they are added in the tunnel mode uh, used for encrypting traffic between two hosts or hosts and a VPN gateway uh, that is end to end IPsec VPN which we saw in this diagram in this diagram so in this diagram in this way you can just remember what is tunnel mode and transport mode tunnel mode is a, is a default mode guys to always remember if you are implementing IPsec VPN 
that means by default you are implementing it in the tunnel mode so again i have mentioned one point even if you are using uh, esp you have to use esp or ah so if you are using esp your data is encrypted and authenticated and when it is if it is using ah your data is just authenticated no encryption in ah less secure as compared to esp ah is less secure as compared to esp uh, so guys i will stop in this video here uh, in the next two videos so we will be uh, doing stuff of operations of ipc VPN. what exactly ik phase 1 is phase 2 is and how to configure this we'll also see a lab so uh, the again the next two videos are going to be very important uh, from perspective of ipsec vpn implementation exactly how it is implemented and how the operations are done in ipsec vpn so we actually laid down a very good foundation in this chapters uh, we have done total seven videos till now this is chapter number six so total seven videos we have done and uh, uh, more oh, i think more three to four videos i may i may do a lot of things to show in IPC VPN is a very huge topic. Uh, I'm trying my level best to bring out uh, and consolidate the information. I'm trying to teach a bit depthness for IPC VPN uh, in whatever videos I'm trying to bring out. So guys, if you need the notes for this, if you need these notes, you can uh, mail me, uh, simply drop me an email on amar.techstuff at gmail.com. I'll, I'll provide you with the PDF file which I have for this notes uh, if you are interested in reading a lot of uh, posts or blogs or networking blogs again you may visit my blog www.nettechstuff.blogspot.com and uh, oh, please do subscribe my channel as i say in every video please do subscribe my channel uh, i'll meet you in the next video let's catch you in the next video and um, let's let's go more deeper and try to understand what exactly ipsec vpn operations and configurations how they are done so we'll meet in the next video guys thanks a lot for watching this video have a nice day